to project 24 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a copy and move text by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose we have this hello world right here inside this input box so now if i click on this button so it will now here it will give us like content copied and now let's suppose if i want to pass that so i'm going to just hit ctrl v so here you can see it will now paste it right here okay so this button will allows us to copy the content from this input box to our clipboard okay so now let's suppose if i just write something else like uh something something else okay and if i hit copy one more time and if i just want to pass that so i'm going to select that and remove it and then right click on it and paste it right here so it will now give us like something else right here okay so that's there now let me just refresh them so now the next thing which we are going to be doing is that if we click on this move text so it will take whatever is inside this input box uh, so it will pass it in this input box so if i just click on this move text so here you can see we get this hello world right here and if i just put something else like uh, i don't know my name so i'll just write like ozen uh web dev okay so if i just click on this copy text so i mean like move text so here you can see it will now give us this ozen web dev right here okay so this is what we are going to be building in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so i'm going to give a name of like oh 24 and then move copy and move okay inside this folder i'm going to just create three files like index.html and then uh, style.css and finally we have an app.js file okay so now let me just zoom in a bit so we can see it a bit better document will be like copy and move project so now let's link it with css and also let's link it with our javascript file so now let's toggle this meta from here and right click on it and open the live server right now all right so now we are good to go so the first thing i would need is to just create a container right now so i'll just write a container and inside this container we will have a buttons container so inside this buttons container we will have a button with the class of copy button and also we will have a button okay so we will just write like copy text and now just underneath there we will have a text area right here with the name of copy txt and then the id no we are not going to be recording any ideas whatsoever and the columns will be 50 and the rows uh will be just three for now and we'll just say like uh hello world sell file and this is the first section and now let's work with the second section so if you want to just build like output container container inside this output container we just have right like output uh out output and then we don't have to provide nothing inside this output and then we have our button right here with the class of mover button and also another class of button as well move text not text server just text and then we have a text area as well so the name will be final txt and no id whatsoever and the columns will be just 50 and the rows will be just three save it and that's going to be it so save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's jump right into a style sheet and now let's style it i'll select everything and then i'll provide a padding to like zero margin will be zero and box sizing will be border box and then outside from that we are going to be selecting our body providing 100 vh height background will be uh you can choose whichever you like but my case i'll just give him a blue violet and then font family will be sans serif and display will be grid in this case and then grid template columns will be just 2fr and 2fr save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so we want these item to be at the center so what's going to happen so we are going to be first of all selecting our container so now let's select our container inside this container we are going to be writing our flex display of flex and flex direction will be colon just if icon will be also center and a line item will be also center now we have to just give them a little bit of border right to it so it will be two pixels solid white save it and this is how it looks like the first one all right so now let's work with the second one so for that we have to just select um you know first of all let me just select this buttons container format there and then we will check the other one so here i'll just select this buttons container and i'll just give a display of flex to it justify content will be space around 
and then we have a margin bottom of 20 pixel save it and looks a bit cool you know and then we have to select our main button so i'll just write a button and here let's format that bit like padding will be 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel left and right margin will be 10 pixel all around and cursor will be pointer save it and both of our buttons are now looking a bit cool we don't have to provide any colors or whatnot you can go with that if you want to you can just change the ui if you want to so now let's select the text area which is like text area so now we select that margin will be just 10 pixel all around outline will be none save it and now we just remove that online from it and text area is looking cool right now anyhow so let me just refresh it the next thing which you have to select is their output container like this output container um copy it this one i'm talking about so now let's center that as well so for that we are going to be using display of flex justify content of center align items of line items of center and flex direction will be colon save it everything is at the center we have to also write a text align of center and position will be relative and then transition will be one second all ease e a s e e a s e ease all right so that's that everything is looking a bit better so this is our copy button and this is our move button right here so now let's just um select our button and then just provide a little bit of background color to it i don't know which kind of color would be fine background color rgb uh, i don't know six two fifteen seven okay that's the background color border will be none okay we remove the border and then color will be totally white and then font weight will be bold save it and okay this is looking a bit cool isn't it the final thing which you have to do is that we are going to be writing a class for javascript so the class name will be added so i'll just select that like added and then we have to just provide a position of absolute trade bottom will be 35 not 4 but 35 pixel and right will be 20 pixel display will be flex justify corner center align items center and then we have a text align of also center and then we have a background of totally black color of totally white and then we have a width of 200 pixel and we have a height of 50 pixels save it and that is going to happen because we didn't render this class to any of element all right so now let's jump right into our javascript and then provide a little bit of interactivity so we would need a few things to grab first of all so the first thing we would need is a copy text button and then we will have a final text uh, and then we will have a move button and <laughs> and then we will have a copy button and finally we will have our output container so copy button which is right here let me just search for R. so this is a copy button this is the output container and then we have a final text so where is the final final text final text is this text area which have the name of that final text okay so the first thing which you have to do is to just write like const copy text and it will be now equals to document dot query selector okay and now here we are going to be writing like a uh, text area and which have the class the name of um copy text txt not text okay so once we save it and log it to the console or you know what we will log it to the console at the end of this uh selection so then we have to just select like const final text and will be now equals to document dot query selector and now let's select our text area which have the name of okay so i should have to just remove these names from here those quotes from there okay so then i'll write like final txt and now let's select our move button which will be const move button and it will be equals to document.query selector of this um, move or button which is right here let me just show you the more button right here and then finally we have is a copy button so i'll just write like const copy btn it will be now equals to document.query selector of uh, copy btn right here okay okay instead of copy query command query selector and then we have const output and it will be now equals to document.query selector of 
output and now let's save it so now let's log all of them to the console so we have a copy text duplicate a few times then we have a find null text and then we have is a move button and then finally not finally but copy button duplicate one more time output save it and now let's check it and the first one we've got that then this is the second one we've got a first button the second button and the out oh, everything is working the way we expect them to work so now let's remove that and remove these commerce from there okay so that's that all right so now we are good to go first thing i'll do is i'll just create a function and then i'll attach it to each of these elements so i'll just write a function and give a name of like copy to clipboard and it will take as a string parameter and then we have to select a few th more things so i'll just write like const output container uh, output container it will be now equals to document.query selector and we want to get this output of container container okay so that's that so now let's create our text area by ourselves so creating text area okay so i'll just write you know i'll remove this comment from here so i'll just write like const text area text area and it will be now equals to document dot create element and now here we are going to be passing like text area right here okay so text area dot value and it will be now equals to this string which is coming from this one right here copy to a clip <laughs> board Kapam. copy to clip board all right so that's cool then we have that output container output container so we want to append the child of text area okay which we just created right here and then the next thing which you have to do is to just write like text area dot select method and will allows us to select everything which is inside the text area do we will just write like document dot exec command and which is not recommended anymore like this is deprecated but it will still work so it will allows us to copy the existing thing which is selected right here inside that text area right here okay so we are going to be passing as a copy of a value and then we have to write like output container and then i'll just write like a remove child and it will take text area as that and then we have to just provide like output that inner html it will be now equals to this html so h3 so let me copy there and then i'll just write content copied okay so whenever we copy something so it will just show us like content copied and then let's close it right here why did i copy that okay so then i'll just write like output dot class list and dot add and now we have to provide this class which we did right here okay so now we have to add this class which will be added okay so then we have a set timeout and now let's provide our function in it and here we will just pass like output dot class list and it will take like toggle this class like added if you don't have this edit class so uh, provided if you do have this class so then remove it then we have output.text content and we'll just provide empty string right here and as a delay we are going to be writing two seconds okay save our file and nothing's gonna still happen so if you copy the paste right here we still have that h3 right here which we copy right here anyhow so we create our function but we didn't use that anywhere so that's why it will not allows us to just copy or move something so the first thing i would do is i will just write like copy text text and we want to attach an add event listener for it so whenever someone click on this button so we want to just fire this event so fire this function to be precise which is nothing much but just write like this dot select and it will allows us to select everything so i'll just duplicate this line of code and change this one to like um final text so we want to attach it with also this final text button as well so once you save it so this is that and the next thing which you have to do is to attach those event listener to that copy button and that move button so i'll just write like copy button and then add event listener of click to it and then let's just fire this callback function to it and inside that we are going to be creating our temp variable so let temp will be equals to like copy text copy text dot value okay and then we have a copy to clipboard function right here and it will allows us to copy to clipboard t-e-m-p save it and this is the first one so if you just uh, write 
something else right here and copy it. So here you can see it will now give us like content copied and it will be removed after two seconds right here. And now let's paste this um, something else to like, if I paste it, so here you can see we now paste this something else right here. So if I just write like my own name, like Hosan Web Dev, and if I click copy, so it will now give us this content copy right here. At two seconds later, it will be gone. And if I want to paste it right here, so if I just right click and paste it, here you can see it will now paste it. All right, so that's cool. The next thing which we have to do is that we want this text to copy to our clipboard. And so whenever we click on this button, so you want to also get this data to be here right here so that's also simple so we just have to do is to just write like um, move button and then we have to just attach this event listener to it of click now just add but just add event listener of click so once we click on that button we want to find this callback function inside this callback function we are going to be writing like uh, that temp variable so just write like let temp and it will be now equals to copy text not button but text and then dot value and then we have to just write like final text and then dot value it will be now equals to this temp variable so save it and now if i just like here you can see we have hello world and if i click on this button so here you can see it will now bring it right here if i change this to like something else and if i click on this move button so here you can see it will now give us like something else okay so if i click on this copy text so it will now give us like content copied and it will be disappear a few seconds later okay so i guess that was it about this project so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next project and if you guys already know git and github and want to push your code to your github repository so you can join me if you want to so i'll just write like git status and here you can see we are now at the 24 projects so let me just write like git commit not commit <laughs> git add and add everything and then git commit dash n copy and move project <laughs> so now let's just push it git push everything to our main it used to be master but it's now main all right so now let's clear a thing and now let's go to our github repository and refresh it so now we would have our 20th three 20th four project copy and move and here you can see we have this code like index.html, style.css, and app.js right here. Alright, so I guess that was it about tonight's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.